it only takes minutes for someone to steal your home. South Florida, in fact, has become a hotbed for title thefts. The Broward County State's Attorney calls it one of the easier crimes to commit. CBS 4's Joe Gorcho shows us how one local business owner is helping protect property owners from fraudsters. 20 days before 9-11, Kevin Tatcher retired his hard hat and moved from the Big Apple to South Florida. He was working as a firefighter in New York, saving lives. Thrive on just helping others and, and making sure we're here to protect them. He now serves and protects differently. Tatcher runs his own title insurance business in Fort Lauderdale. His mission is to protect people from those creating fraudulent title deeds and trying to sell properties illegitimately. I get goosebumps even now just hearing it because you really look at someone who's built their entire life savings up to own all of this real estate without a mortgage and then all of a sudden they could have been wiped out. In June, Tatcher was about to facilitate a closing on this vacant lot in Homestead. He showed us all the documents the presumed owners sent in. He said the paperwork appeared off. The notary stamp looked a little odd. It was a New York notary uh, and the photo IDs were not very clear copies of. Having yet to communicate by phone, Tatcher did a reverse search. He found out the lot's owner, Susan, lived in Miami, not New York. He called her to confirm she was selling the property. Another scam, no thank you. She was like, there's no way, it's not possible. Susan soon realized Tatcher was right. He had all my information, my social, my husband's social, pictures of our driver's licenses with other faces on them. After another chat with Tatcher, he stopped the deal, protecting her investment. Bought it and paid for it and, you know, worked hard for it. I was this close to my property being transferred and recorded in somebody else's name. At the county level, Broward County property appraiser Marty Kier calls South Florida the title fraud capital of the world. And within his office, there's a division dedicated to investigating fraud cases. Kier details a case where two women in Broward County used health care patient information to acquire distressed, abandoned, foreclosed, and probated real property. They were sentenced in March. They're alleged to also have taken these properties throughout the state. And that's why everybody throughout the state of Florida should be very vigilant. Kier's office has a team of 10 investigators looking into fraud. If you are thinking about stealing somebody's property, you are not welcome in Broward County, and we're going to work very closely with law enforcement to put you in jail for a long time, so don't do it. Recently, Kier's office teamed up with the Broward County State Attorney's Office in an interlocal agreement to prosecute fraudsters. What we've noticed traditionally, it's prevailing uh, not only in this county, but throughout the state where these deed fraudsters, they'll go online and many of the, the information that they find is public record. Broward County State Attorney Harold Pryor says most targets of fraud are the elderly, the deceased, vacant homes and lots, and minority communities. We're going to find you, we're going to pursue you, and we're going to vigorously prosecute you. Kier started an owner's alert program for the county last year. It notifies residents if someone files a change of ownership on your property. It does not prevent fraud, but alerts the rightful owner within 24 hours to take action. Joe Gorcho, CBS 4 News Tonight. Broward State Attorney Harold Pryor says if you believe you're a victim of title deed fraud, contact his office, the property appraiser's office, or your local law enforcement agency.